Mm-hmm. Okay, there we go. How about now? There we go. Chris Bear, my name is Miriam, co-founder and <laughs> CEO of Keto Chow. I'm Chris, also co-founder and president, and the technical guy behind Keto Chow, who had to run home, run back to the office and get a computer and fix the time because I had it at Whoopsie. 8, 40, I mean 7.45 instead of 7.15. If you're brand new to Keto Chow, it's a nutritionally complete meal designed to make doing keto easy. We also have some electrolyte supplements that are amazing for everyday use and for keeping the dreaded keto flu when you're running around like a crazy person. Away. Keeping it away. Keeping it away. Dang, I always mess it up. Anyway. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the little bell icon for daily updates on all our Keto Chow happenings. These live streams help us be accountable and stay on track. Thanks so much for joining us on our Keto Journey. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, Blaze is like, uh, this says it's not going to start for 30 minutes. Whoopsie. I was like, oopsie. Anyway, so yeah, Betsy says, am I going crazy? Yeah, Stacy Jones says, good evening. Yep, it's definitely Chris fixed. Crazy. Debbie says hello. Stwong says hello. hello so I was hello, here. Hello. Rickman says hello. Yeah, Sean says, I thought it was happening, happening at 6.45. It's going to be sad because I'm working early tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just my... When I set up the... When I selected the little thing yesterday morning, I selected the wrong yep. time. Yep. Lance says, hi, guys. Purple Lady says, happy to be here tonight. Key Life Granny is here as well. So is Esther. Um, Esther. Tori says, any new flavors to speak of? Nope. Okay. None, nope. To, none to speak of. Nope. <laughs> Sean says, hi, is Chris, crazy Chris Bear. And Miriam the Beautiful. Thank you. Anyway. Uh, and Yenela says, yep, nothing to speak of. <laughs> how about um, tomorrow? Blaze says, I guess I worked in printing too long. What? How's your what? I said, how about tomorrow? Oh, nope. <laughs> uh, let's see, Lynn says, caught you tonight. I set the timer. Hi, yes, everyone. Yes, Lynn. So glad <laughs> Debbie you made says, I'm it. waiting for my shredder to cool down so I can shred some more. I have done that. Oh, yeah. Where I was just shredding, shredding, shredding. You're like, 10 minute break. Sonia is here, hi, so Sonia. is Marie. Sonia says, hi, everyone. Survived another day in Florida with no tomatoes. Tornadoes. Tomatoes. Not tomatoes. <gasps> Cindy, hi. Hi, Cindy. You I'm need to send us you your presentation, week. young lady. I'm going to see you. <laughs> I'm so excited. So for any of you who don't know, well, first off, less meal prep, more skydiving. Yes. What the heck? Let's don't all skydive. See these are, there's these summer flavors, and if you ah, didn't know. Okay. We also have this guy. Oh, right. Which is our summer go pack. That's a flavor to speak big. of. It doesn't get big. Anyway, so orange cream, orange mango, peaches and cream. I have guava grapefruit for dinner tonight. I guess. I want that as a creamy, some s'mores. please. Um, but what I was trying to get to was Keto Salt Lake. It is next week. I'm next gonna, week. I just was texting Carrie Brown and I told her, I just, you know, I'm going to float by. Keto Salt Lake is not going to stress me out. Oh, there's no, I'm there's just gonna, right there. I'm just going to float by with Keto Salt Lake, and it's just going to be a breeze. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. Anyway, oh, I forgot to scroll it, so it kept scrolling. Victoria says, dang it. <laughs> Lauren, says, Lauren says hello all from hello. Newburyport, Massachusetts. Ashley is here. Too crazy. Keto says hey, hi, Ashley. everyone. Hi, um, TKK. She said, I know, right? Let's see, Grizzly Keo says, yeah, can't wait to see Nurse Cindy. Sky says, a little bit late, but here now. Um, Rhonda says, good evening, Bears and Chow fam. Miriam used the corn dog maker that we oh bought gosh, because of Serious Keto. It was the so freaking amazing. The cheese ones were the best. They were not as good cold. So, can you show them the recipe that I used? I'm working on it. Okay. Uh, what was it again? The it tamale was pie? The tamale pie. Tamale. Yes. And so, all I did was I took the hot dogs and I cut them Wait, in half. Wait, which one? Spicy tamale pie. So, you just used this recipe mm -hmm. to make exactly. a paste. Exactly. Except I've, the first batch, I forgot the eggs. Oh. So they fell out apart a little bit, but we were like, <laughs> wow, this is amazing. And then I'm like, oh, I bet it would stick together with some egg protein. And then I read that I forgot the eggs. So sc scroll down a little bit because I, I didn't do the filling. I just did the cornbread topping. And I literally did that much. I just didn't even care what it was. And okay. so I did exactly those measurements. And I probably made 12 corn dogs. Okay. They're half hot dogs, but... <laughs> they were amazing. Even the keto. So a little bit the, on the bottom, the then a hot dog, and then stuff to, on like, top. Keto stuff. We're like, Mom, these are great. We should do this again. Well, we're doing it right now. Also, the cheese ones were. Yeah, so we did some 
jalapeno and cheese brats. Oh, the Johnsonville brats. Johnsonville brats, brats and good. some hot dogs and some cheese sticks. They were good. Two says, decisions, decisions. Can't decide on pistachio or Irish cream ice cream for dinner. Nice. Pistachio. Speaking of pistachio, mm -hmm. nothing to do with keto chow. Yes. But somebody went to Harmon's today. I was fasting all day. And while they were there, got the new flavors from um, Rebel. Rebel Ice Cream. I they got have every a new flavor one. they had. <laughs> yeah. They have some uh, sherbet or sorbet ones too. Raspberry, sorbet, mango, lemon, and, this, and coconut. And the sorbet slash sherbet ones uh -huh. um, are like 65 calories a serving. They're like super low Oh calorie. yeah, well they, they do still have the net carb on the front yeah. though. So that's good to know. One of them's like nine. So that's, that was kind of Well, it's because it has a fruit puree in it oh. in order to give it the flavor. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're going to have those someday, but not right now. <laughs> They're just in the freezer. We I don't go to that store very often, nope. and they always have Rebel stuff there. So I thought, while well, I'm here, I'll just get all this. I had to get some medicine. Mike says, hi, folks. Hi, Lynn Mike. says, why does anyone jump from a perfectly fine airplane? Which I just reminds know. me of, have you ever seen Better Off Dead? And... The black guy says, somebody threw away a perfectly oh, good, good white boy. boy. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that Are movie. Are you serious? That movie's great. I just great. have heard you say that many oh, times. Oh, man. Such a funny uh, movie. Lisa says, hello, Chris and Miriam. Looking good. Thank you, you like Lisa. says, I had black licorice ice cream for dinner. Oh, I nearly good. made black licorice, but I decided that I wanted the guava grapefruit instead. I've been craving the guava grapefruit, too. Makes sense. I evening. just need to make it in the creamy. And I want key lime, too. I really want key lime right okay. now. Mimi says, good evening. Hopefully I can make it to Keto Salt Lake next year. If we oh, do it next I year. I hope so. I, I hope so. Shana says, nine days till Keto I Salt Lake. I know. I'm just going to their there. friends. I'm telling you, I'm not going to stress out. It's going to be Victoria fun. says, is there a virtual Keto Salt Lake option for those who can't make it in person? I didn't see anything on the website. So I'm not going to sell That's why. tickets for the, a virtual conference. Um, and I haven't decided what to do on that and ask because it stresses me out like crazy that there are yeah, people paying, paying for something that might for go wrong. something that might go wrong. Since that I have no control over are a real thing. Yeah. So there's right there's no pay uh, um, virtual conference option. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Kathy says good evening all. Valerie says love almond coconut. Uh, Dennis says gotta love brats, homemade corn dogs. And, with keto condiments. Yeah. I liked that one time where so some yummy. really nice person gave us this giant package of the Johnsonville brats. Oh, yeah. That, that was, was really good. And they were like, they had been frozen for like two years. Yeah. So they were expired, but uh, oh, We man. used every one of those. He That's totally so good. <laughs> so good. Shana says, I made keto chow banana and peanut flour oh, shake nice. with my keto Asian sticky wings. Oh, that my sounds amazing. My collie rice had a piece of plastic, so I left what? it behind. Wow. Oh, that's annoying. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Visual Keto is here. Hi. Uh, Patricia says, hi, I finally caught the live. Need to order a Keto Chow taco. Oh, I haven't yes. tried it yet. Yes, you need to order it and put it in your taco meat. Betsy says, yeah, wants to know how your doctor appointment went. It went good. It was weird talking it, to a keto doctor. It, I, it was amazing talking to a keto doctor. Can I just tell you how refreshing it was? And it wasn't like weird or anything because we know I'm super good. He's been to our house a couple times, mm -hmm. and he's going to speak at Keto Salt Lake next week, so I'm super excited. So we did talk about that quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> but it was really nice, because he's like, he didn't have to tell me all the stuff I needed to do, but he looked through my labs, and it was so funny, because I said, can we look through my labs before I go? And he's like, oh, I didn't pull them up, and I'm all, I printed you one. <laughs> so I handed him <laughs> I handed him the labs. Thank you for that. Okay. They should I, be able to hear you better. Okay, thanks. I handed him the labs that I printed and we looked through every single thing and he said everything looks good. My progesterone is low, uh, so we're going to okay. work on fixing that. And my insulin is 8.8 .8, and he said he'd like it to be 5, so I'm going to work on being a lot more strict with what I'm eating, which is what I was trying to do anyway, so that's fine. And uh, he, I did talk to him about my legs and I showed him my legs and my feet and my one foot that's swollen. He said... I'll see how swollen it is now. It's really bad. When I showed him my legs, he said, put your pants back on. <laughs> Stop it. I didn't take off my pants. I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he, he, say, he said it could be, you know, going to lipedema or lymphedema, but uh, if I can get my insulin down, that, that might improve it anyway. Okay. So we're going to just aim for that for now, and um, hopefully things will improve on their own. And uh, so he put me on progesterone which is why I went to the pharmacy. And I'm gonna see if that will help me 
sleep better and not be so tired all the time. My thyroid numbers were like a tiny bit low, but not, he said, well, if, if I, if you were, um, oh, I can't remember exactly. Oh, I knew it went out of my brain. He said, if I, if I was, um, sleeping well, but still feeling super tired, then it would probably be thyroid, but I'm not sleeping super well. Wow. My tummy just made a <laughs> I'm not Am sleeping super well. But I'm super tired, and so it makes more sense that it was maybe the progesterone. So hopefully okay. that will fix it, and then I can get off of it, and it'll be fine. Where do you get off? I don't know. But okay. my vitamin D is up, which made me super happy because forever it's been low. So I've been taking the vitamin D supplement, so he actually told me I can, take, I can get off of it as long as I go out in the sun. So I'm going to make sure to go out in the sun this summer, and then he wants me to get back on it in October. Okay. So... That just reminded me of that Siobhan Huggins. Okay. Um, her, this was posted today. It's her presentation from Low Carb USA Boca Raton. Okay, that was amazing. And it, it's her talking about keto for lipedema and all this other stuff. Actually, mm -hmm. this might have been this might have been a, just a recording of it, um, separate from her presentation. Uh, yeah, I think it is. I think it is. But but it's um, really good. She's coming. Next week. She is coming. Yeah. But I just wanted to put that this into the chat so that people can refer to it. She posted it on her Facebook um, today uh, because it was posted on the... Yep. And when I see her, there. she'll be able to feel my fat and then tell me if she <laughs> thinks I have... That's right. Edema too. Becca says, I really want to hit one of the conferences, but my husband doesn't understand why. Just because it's not something he's introduced yeah, to. Yeah, that's okay. Whether it's when he says classic movie, one of my favorites. Um, Cleva says, does keto chow spike insulin? Okay, now the problem with the term spike insulin mm -hmm. is that doesn't actually mean anything. Like, what do you mean by spike insulin? And if, if it raises insulin. Yeah, um, any food will cause a rise in insulin. Mm -hmm. Now, to what effect? That's something different. It's a lot easier to measure the rise in glucose. And again, yes. people say spike glucose. What do you actually mean? Like what number so are you talking about? does that mean over about? 30 points? So what I, can, what I can tell you is that we have several type 1 diabetics yes. that use continuous glucose monitors that use keto chow and report that it does not cause their glucose to in, go up significantly. Mm -hmm. They still have to use insulin because they're having protein. Mm -hmm. And protein requires insulin in order to take care of it properly. Yeah, but it's slow, yeah. which, is, which is good because it's not like a fast rise. And I yes. think that that's what they mean by spike. Yeah, that, that is what people fast. mean. The problem is when people say, spike my blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Banana for scale. Well, and I think everybody is so different. That's one thing that we, I was yeah. talking about with the doctor today is like, um, everybody's so different. I can't just look at this person and say, why can't I eat what they eat and be like they are? And they we're just not built the same. Yep. Like, Yeah. Anyway, a, a lot of what he talked to me about was family history stuff. Like, I have a lot of stuff in my genetics that are problematic. And, and he said, if I wasn't doing what I was doing for the last five years, I would already be diabetic and on insulin. Oh, probably. So the fact that my numbers are better than they were last year, even though I'm a little bit heavier, I still, um, like, I'm still going in the right direction. So I feel like... That's a non-scale victory. Non-scale victory. Non-scale victories are amazing. <laughs> yeah. Fewer medications are my favorite non fiscal mm -hmm. victory. Suzanne says I ordered a Keto Salt Lake t-shirt. It arrived today. Yay! Um, Andrea says, hi everyone. I'm already in bed watching on my phone. Oh, <laughs> snuggle up, okay. You like Grace says, don't forget to hit the like button. Matt Thank has you. made a tough decision tonight to not make an offer on a really nice house. Just oh, too expensive. Oh, but you that's know what? so hard. You're, you're going to be grateful though, because you don't want to be house poor. Like you don't want to be just scraping every single time you got to get that house payment. Yeah. So, I, I'm proud of you, even though it's hard. Um, hold on a second. Uh, 
Chris is typing. Uh, so I, there was a question about whether or not keto chow is good for children. Okay. I'm going to give you the official answer, the one that we are legally required to give. Mm -hmm. Keto chow is not indicated for use by children, nursing, or pregnant mothers. Please consult your doctor before mm -hmm. starting any food regimen. Yep. Okay. That's the official legalese answer. Okay. Um, now, that said, our kids use it all the time. Yeah, but there are kids, so we decide what they yeah. can do. So, and I'd also, this actually came up today in our one in our customer service meeting. I'm not going to show oh, right. the screen. I'm just going to read that it. Meeting. This was a quote from Tracy in Marysville, California. Okay. That says, "I have rec I have recently been giving my 96 year old mother keto chow daily. She has dysphagia. dysphagia? I don't know what that is." Brought, brought on dementia, so getting by in, dementia. brought in by dementia. Uh -huh. So getting in needed calories is hard without a protein Aww, drink supplement. Yeah. I mix hers with heavy cream and water. I don't know if it's just me, but she seems to have improved as far as her Aww, mental capacity. So Even sweet. the lady from the recovery nursing home, she had a fall, Aww. couldn't believe how good she looked. Said she seemed much more alert than when she saw her over a week ago. Aww. I believe it's keto chow. I'm going to continue giving her at least once a day, possibly twice. No more boost drinks for her. Thank you for your product. I'll have to order banana now to see how she likes it. She's Aww. a banana holic. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, Tracy, for okay. sharing that with us. So, should you give keto chow to kids? That's up to you. Yep. But... Uh, if you're considering giving keto chow your, to your children, I would recommend taking any food that you're planning to give to your children, like dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets or macaroni and cheese, and talk to your pediatrician about whether that's right for your child mm -hmm. as well. Yep. That is a bit of a joke. No one would do that because people just feed that to their kids yep. anyway without even thinking about it. I know we did. Yep. And if our kids get the opportunity... They totally made a run and got a whole bunch of French fries last night. Yeah, and ate it like ten o'clock at night last night. They did a bunch of crazy kids because they can drive themselves. Is, is that healthy? A healthy diet for our twelve-year-old? Nope. No. Is keto chow a healthy diet for our twelve-year-old? Legally, I can't say yes to <laughs> you, but I know our kids eat Steak it. Steak and eggs. <laughs> Heck yes. <laughs> so. And, and interestingly enough, Dr. Barry, um, mm -hmm. we have a video where somebody, you know, was asking about keto chow. And he's like, you know, I'm a whole, I'm a real foods guy. But if you have a kid who's having problems getting the right vitamins or you have an elderly parent, mm -hmm. he's like, we, were, we happened to be at the conference he was talking. About. He's like, go across the hall and go talk to keto chow. Go buy their stuff. <laughs> it was really funny. It was awesome. <laughs> Oh, Danita said she's sitting down to chicken tacos using Ooh, the Keto Chow Taco nice. right now. Mmm, it's delicious. Uh, Visual Keto says, Miriam, all those babies used up to your hormones. They sure did. <laughs> uh, let's see, Jason is here. Tanya says, good evening from Western Kentucky. I didn't get to catch the lives anymore because of taking care of grandkids. Yes. Um, oh, Asner City says, progesterone is the bomb oh, for sleep. yes. Let's talk about your legs next week. Oh, Compression yeah, you look, hose at, will help. you look at my legs too. Cindy, that would be awesome. Uh, also, he said that typically he finds that people who have had postpartum depression mm -hmm. after they have kids have progesterone problems. And so he said, have I had that? I'm like, uh, yes, I have had that. So it makes sense like that over the periods of time I've had progesterone issues and it, just now I'm, it's finally bad enough that it's affecting me. So. Interesting. Yeah, hopefully it helps. I hope Kilo, so. Kilo Granny says, I've been getting giving my grandchild, granddaughter hot chocolate keto chow lately in the morning before she starts her lessons because she won't eat anything else due to her ADHD meds oh, not making her hungry. Yes. Wow. So again, keto chow is not indicated for children, but that's amazing, and I endorse that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dennis is getting you, Chris and Miriam. Got to love the summer sun. Yes. Lisa says, anyone else? Ever tried Yo Mama's sugar-free ketchup? I have not. Oh, no, I haven't. We really like the um, Alterna Sweets. Yep, I like Alterna Actually, Sweets. Actually, the spicy 
which isn't really very spicy, mm -hmm. I think is my favorite. Um, Visual Kiss is good info, info about Siobhan. I will forward that to my daughter who oh, has Lipidema. Oh, yes, yes. Jessica says, good evening, Bears. Jessica, hi. I've been thinking about you a lot lately. Hope you're good. Um, Esther says, what is Lipidema? It goes in hand in hand with lymphedema. Yeah, but they're not the same thing. The short version is it's the disease they call fat. Yes, because you can't lose weight because what happens is you're, you have a collection of fat cells that mm -hmm. clumps together and, and then it's really difficult to lose the weight in those areas. And so typically with some with lymphedema, you see a lot of uh, bottom and lower legs. You see the cuffing on the legs and then they have a really skinny waist. Yeah. Right. And then what, what is it that she said about the leaking? Like, how does she describe it? I'm trying to remember. I don't remember off the top lymphedema of my head. Lymphedema is, is leaking through the fat cells and lipedema is, I don't know, I can't remember. Dang it. Anyway. Yeah, Cindy, tell us what it is. <laughs> Will Rice says, great evening, y'all. What a beautiful day. We're beginning our travel to Kiosk Salt Lake next week at yes. this time. So excited. Are you bringing your bikes? Joe and Rachel will be landing. In yes. two hours. Next week. And seven days. Next week. <laughs> Sean says, yes. when I drink keto chow, my CGM so shows my glucose goes up. However, within two hours-ish, it goes back down. Yeah. Nice. And, and I think that's the thing that's important is it just goes down at a, in a good uh, place. So that's good. Exposing Darkness says, hello, I misread the start time. No, I put the wrong start time yeah, in. Yeah, it wasn't you. It I was put uh, 7.45 instead of 7.15 because nope. Anyway, Gleva says spikes is in enough to knock you out of ketosis. Oh, so that's no, yeah. it will not cause you, you to eat it with something else. Now that said, Joe and Rachel have a review that they did uh, on two crazy cues. They did of the Keto Mojo ketone mm -hmm. reader where they wanted to you know test their ketones. So they tested their ketones and then they ate hamburger and eggs. The lowest carb you could possibly have. Like one of the most yeah. conducive Not to a ketogenic lifestyle. Not any sugar sauces lifestyle. or anything else, just salt. Yes. So here's the problem with the term kick you out of ketosis or knock you out of ketosis. Ketosis is the state of burning ketones. Mm -hmm. And if there are ketones present, you will be burning them whether you are ketogenic or not. Yes. When you eat food your body won't be producing ketones anymore because there's all this food coming in and there's protein and all this other stuff. So when they tested their ketones after eating hamburger and eggs and stuff like that, their ketones were basically down to nothing. And then a few hours later, they were right back up again. Mm -hmm. But they wanted to caution people that it's difficult to say this and such thing kicked me out of ketosis because even meat and cheese and eggs will do that. Um, on the other hand, I can confidently say a keto chow is conducive to a ketogenic diet because if you're a crazy person and eat only keto chow for 100 days, yeah. you will average 3.0 millimolars per decaliter of ketones. of ketones the entire 100 days, or at least I did. So, But you don't have to do that. You don't That's have to weird. do that. Mary says, I'm an insulin-dependent diabetic with a Dexcom, and it doesn't spike my blood sugar. Okay. A nurse in says, glucose will also spike also on how fast you drink the chow or any other food. There you go. So it'll go up faster. Uh, Sean says, it's, uh, it's more if it doesn't go back down, and then it goes high, and then stays high. Yeah. <laughs> Dennis says, nerd alert. Today, nerd alert, today's Insulin IQ channel is focused on type 1 diabetes, right? Yep. Tina says, how do you go about finding a keto doctor? I've tried to find some in Arizona it's with hard. no luck. There are some resources. Dietdoctor.com has a list of keto doctors. Uh, Low Carb USA has a list of keto doctors. Yeah. Um, yeah, those are the only places I know. Yeah, Low Carb USA, are. I think, is the, one of the more comprehensive, or at least it used mm -hmm. to be. Um, Go Google it. Sandy says, I think spike means best. go up and stay up for an extended amount of time. But it, uh, for each person, that definition is completely different. Uh, Tina, I know that... Uh, there is a doctor in Arizona who is keto. His name is Dr. Nally. Dr. Adam Nally. Yes. I don't know what city he lives in. Do you remember? Surprise. He lives in Surprise, Arizona. I don't know if that's anywhere close to you. 
Don't try to talk with your mouth full of keto chow. Yeah, that's weird. Michael says, I just ordered two more blender bottles and a 32 ounce vacuum flask. Yes. Nice. Esther says, mine spiked 92 points two days ago, testing high reactive foods. At one hour, up 60, and two hours, up 92. It was peanut butter and chalk zero syrup. Oh, yeah. I know a lot of people have problems with chalk zero, but... Yep. Uh, yeah, anyway, Nurse Cindy says, kids love keto chow, my grandkids at least. Can we have some yummy drink? Yes. <laughs> oh, Nurse Cindy says, dysphagia equals difficulty swallowing. Oh, okay. there you go. Ask Nurse Cindy says, my dad has this chow every single morning, avoid the boost drinks. Yes. Oh, exchange student is here. Oh, and Lynette put a good least, um, list on ketogenic.com. Oh, thank doctors. you. Thank you, Lynette. Uh, let's see, Andrew says, I give keto chow to my grandson with epilepsy, and in the beginning, he was nonverbal and delayed. It's been six months, and now he reads <gasps> books to me with help. Oh, my wow. gosh. And That's if you so want awesome. more information about that, watch The Magic Pill, which used to yes. be on Netflix, and I, now I yes. think is on Amazon Prime. It's, that's a good show. That's like it, a tear was, for sure. <laughs> Norman says, I just want to say I'm in love with your shakes, and so grateful I found you all on my news feed. Yay. Your commercials hooked me, and I'm glad they did. Well, that's awesome, Norman. We're glad you're here. But she says, I'm trying to get more protein in, so I thought, canned chicken. Ah, there you go. Why do they put all kinds of starch in it? I don't do know. Do they? Oh, I no. have never seen tuna with I guess you have to look at the... Well, she's looking at canned chicken. Yeah, but tuna. I've never seen tuna with anything other than <sighs> tuna salt water or tuna, tuna salt with olive oil. oil in it. Yeah, the olive oil oh, stuff is fantastic. You just have to look at ingredients. I'm sorry. What a pain. That is weird. Yeah, why would they do that? Maybe it's in the flavoring or something. Yeah. Uh, Lisa's my 11-year-old loves keto chow chili. Pumpkin sausage soup. Oh, yeah. Yes. And taco meat I make with uh, keto chow one battle at a time. Right. Uh, Blaze says lipedema is considered a connective tissue disease of the fat. Dr. Herbst is an expert in it. Yes. Nice. Yes, that's exactly who it is. Jerry's here. It's 90 degrees in Chandler. Oh, man. <laughs> Ezra says I have uh, those areas that don't want to go away. Lori's here from Vancouver Island. Oh, hi, Lori. Astner Cindy says lymphedema is where the lymph vessels don't drain the area yes. and the fluid builds up. Lip edema is fat cell dysfunction. Right. And they can and usually sometimes do yeah. go hand in hand. So she was saying, so what uh, Siobhan said in that yes. presentation was lymphedema is don't drain and lip edema is drain too much. And so then the, the fats are dysfunctional because. Oh, really? Yeah, because it was like two drain things. I'm okay. just going to remember what they were. Thank you. O'Brien says the bikes aren't going to make the trip, but they're going to rent some. Oh, man. Joe posted the lit, the video to the ketone video. Oh, thank you. The one with it. the uh, hamburger that they were eating. Uh, <laughs> this is lip edema. Yeah, that's different than lip edema, right? We, we knew what you meant. I know. Carlos says, <laughs> hey, everyone. Um, yeah, Astner Cindy says Ket ketones fluctuating is normal. They are not static. Yes. That is true. Yes. If you really want to have fun, put on a CGM and teach a teenager how to drive. The air glucose will go right up there. You don't even, you could be fasting yes, for I, and 72 I have hours fasting. and your glucose will go through the like roof. Like 15 points, like just getting in the car, like whoop, oh, wow. <laughs> uh, Nurse Cindy points out that Dr. Siwas will take a national, nationwide oh, insurance. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Um, JDX says, I'm fortunate with my doctor here in Chandler. She's supporting my keto lifestyle yeah. and is not trying to move me off of keto. I can tell you how, you know, refreshing it was just talking to someone who cares about what I care about. And we're like totally on the same page. And every, his, his page four, his page four, it's like, here's <laughs> my page Westman. four. And here's my, <laughs> you know, this. And I actually hadn't even looked through all the papers yet, but I was just so happy. And they did a, a bioimpedance. Okay. Um, scale, and they also did uh, breathing measurements. Oh, the metabolic thing? That's yeah. what you were having the fast That's for? That's why I had a fast, yeah. It was good. Um, yeah, Shauna and um, J-Dog says that uh, they have to stay away from Chalk Zero. Yes. Change students says, yes, Banana Keto Chow is amazing. Yes. Tina says, thanks so much, everyone. Thanks, Tina. Um, let's see. Shauna says, I'm so happy my mind signed, signed up for Keto Chow. Um, Hi, Chow. Chandra says, or Chandra, are you supposed to add electrolytes in each 16 ounce bottle of water or just one for the day? So that actually brings up one of the things we want to talk today was about electrolytes. Okay. So to your question, you can use it in as much water as you want during the day. You could use it once a day. 
You could use it every time you go to drink. You could add twice as much to a 16 ounce bottle because you're, you've got a bit of a headache mm -hmm. and you added some and you shook it up and it didn't taste salty. So you add a little more, shake it up, still not salty. Just keep adding it until it's salty and you're like, oh, you know what? This is gonna work for me. Mm -hmm. um, but well, for instance, Jules says, I'm a little confused. If the keto chow shakes have minerals and vitamins, why is it important to add extra mineral, mineral drops? Isn't that overdoing the minerals? Well, one for, for Jewel is, I don't drink the shakes every day all day long. I drink them sometimes when I feel like it. And there yeah. are other days when I don't eat until a certain time, but I still need electrolytes or if I get hot and sweaty or I'm doing the laundry or something like that. And there's just times when I need more electrolytes, so. That's, there's that. Um, you can have them on days that you do have keto chow, but you may not need them. Yeah. So on the uh, Daily Minerals page, there's a link to a blog post. And this goes into really exhaustive detail about why electrolytes are important, why different electrolytes are important. Look at that salt. Uh, you've got, you know, all this different stuff. You've I, Like, it really gets into it. There's a comparison chart which compares different electrolytes that are on the market. Mm -hmm. And for the Kyo Chow Daily Minerals, it was, we, well, here you go. Replace the minerals missing from modern diets due to the depleted soils. Mm -hmm. Reduce the number of supplements needed, frank, needed. Frankly, I think Dr. Barry wanted fewer bottles of stuff at his house. So he had a custom supplement made just for him. Mm -hmm. I honestly believe that's the main reason he did it. <laughs> um, use the best versions of the mineral possible that are pre-dissolved in their ionic state. Uh, you know, there's no colors, no sweeteners. You can also throw it into stuff when you're cooking. Mm -hmm. There's some trace minerals. Some are only a few parts per million. <laughs> to help with other as yet undocumented benefits and then price it as low as possible. Um, and here the, here's the kicker. If you do happen to be using keto chow th as a shake three times a day, which isn't required nor recommended for most people, it is possible, however, then you will not need the mm -hmm. daily minerals, period. Because all the other stuff is covered in the keto chow shakes. But most people aren't crazy like me and doing keto chow three times a day mm -hmm. for extended periods of time. And so, you know, this, the, the whole point of this blog post is just to go through how the different electrolytes fit in together, you know, where you would use them, why potassium is so important, um, all that sort of stuff. So, you anyway, know, I just put that into the chat. And that actually kind of goes along with, um, Sheila says, I'm wondering if you can get too much of the electrolytes if you add it into every drink each day. I quit drinking diet soda and switched to coffee and water only. I add the electrolyte drops to my coffee only at this point, but lately my heart has been racing and I'm wondering if I need more electrolytes. Can you get too much? Um, we've actually been talking about that a lot lately. You can get too much and typically that just makes you retain water. Um, what we like to do is to measure it by taste if you put some in your water and it tastes too salty, that's too much. Like yeah. put more water in or just drink regular water. Um, but a lot of times if you taste it and it tastes you know, really good to you, then you need it and you may need to add some more. So it's not really the best answer, but um, that's my answer. Yep. And Joe has, from Two Crazy Kios, has personal experience where he was just getting way too much electrolytes because he was going to do it fast and he was really hitting it hard, it's very difficult to get too much electrolytes. Yeah, you'd have to be having it every and single And your body time starts drinking. to make you not want to drink it mm -hmm. because we have a really good feedback mechanism for electrolytes, and our body knows exactly what to do with it. it if you get too much, it just mm -hmm. you, you either sweat it out, you pee it out, or it comes out in your feces. It's really that simple. So, yay, electrolytes. Yay. <laughs> Um, Joe said some of the canned chickens have modified food starch. Oh, that's probably the Kirtland from about. Costco organic chicken is just chicken breast and water. The non-organic has other ingredients. Oh, that's such a bummer. Many of the uh, store brand tuna star kissed um, have modified food starch. Yeah, that's I noticed dumb. the little packets have the, that in it too. Oh, really? Like because I grabbed that's a dumb. bunch of those packets because I thought the kids would want those to take to school. I to ate a bunch of those when fork. we were in Disneyland. 
Yeah, that was you're the one that ate them. The kids didn't eat them, but I thought that was a good idea. Uh, Esther says, "Yeah, no more chocolate zero for me. It tastes great, but mm -hmm. oh, and Jason says Dr. Barry has a YouTube video tied, titled Find the Low Carb Keto Doctor Near You.' Nice, thank you, Jason. Marianne says I've been stalled for a long time, so I had my first keto chow today. Here's hoping it helps me. Yes. I hope so too." John says, yeah, chicken, my canned chicken. It does have it. However, I didn't notice anything wonky with my glucose. And also check the the number of grams of carbohydrates in each. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, in each serving. Because it might be a really small amount, which, I mean, it's, it's not the best thing. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend it. But compared to nothing, it might be or just bread. fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the... Yeah, the Costco canned chicken has chicken breast meat, water, and flavoring. And the flavoring is salt, modified food starch, sodium yes. phosphate, chicken broth, and natural flavorings. That gotcha. is interesting. That's the flavoring. That's a, yeah, flavoring is pain in the butt. Oh, Lori says Neha from Switch Groceries Live right now, too. <gasps> I love her. Oh. <laughs> I thought I got an email from her earlier today. Oh, but... maybe I did. I just missed it. Mm. I saw it on my phone, but I didn't see it when I logged in my email. Uh, let's see. People, well, Rihanna says, I just lay down for a nap and fell asleep hard, but I made it. You should have stayed asleep. I'm glad you took a nap. Betty says, three keto chow creamies a day makes me happy. Me too. I only had one today. I only had none today. Uh, Victoria says, do you recommend electrolyte drops or fasting drops if I don't have kidney problems? Electrolyte drops. Most people are going to want the electrolyte drops. And yep. Okay, so let's get into this. The electrolyte drops are what we first came out with. Mm -hmm. It's a good, nice mix of potassium, magnesium, which is hard to get, and sodium. magnesium, which is really hard to get, and sodium, which is easy. Yeah, salt. Sodium's everywhere. Um, but when most people need electrolytes for hydration or to combat keto flu, or the, they just need more electrolytes, they need about those ratios. And so, you know, have one serving of it, have two, have three, whatever floats your boat. Um, we then made the electro the fasting drops mm -hmm. for people who Cat can't have as much problems. potassium. Yep. It still has an okay amount of magnesium, not very much, but it's mostly sodium. Mm -hmm. And then the magnesium drops, which is mostly magnesium. So yep. just kind of, you've got the all around good for everything it, for electrolyte supplementation. You've got the daily minerals, which is a baseline if you're not eating keto chow three meals a day and just want to get the chromium and selenium mm -hmm. and all the other stuff that you need. Molybdenum. Yeah. Iodine. Molybdenum. My iodine is low. It does have the iodine. Which is funny <laughs> because I've been doing daily minerals, yep. but I maybe haven't been doing it all. And if you've got cramps or headaches and stuff like that, try mm -hmm. the magnesium, magnesium drops, which taste like fire and are terrible. They are amazing. <laughs> they work so well. <laughs> They taste horrible. <laughs> then you've I got take the fasting drops, night. which the fasting drops work really good if you're at a restaurant and there's no salt. Yeah, that's true. We've done that before. Yeah. Put it on my steak. <laughs> Suzanne says, I just checked my canned chicken. It has food starch too. Ah! Oh, Lisa says, H E B is just chicken breast, meat, salt, and water. Thank you, H E B. Uh, let's see, Betsy says, two ounces of chicken has one carb. But needed six ounces for my protein intake. So, okay, so three carbs, not the not the best, but oh, mm. not the end of the world. Just next time you go to the store, look at it, I guess. Yeah, Shauna says it has the one that she's looking at: uh, two percent salt and food starch and rice starch, but mm. also zero carbs for two ounces. But we all know what Joe says about zero carbs. Yeah, it's really Assume not zero. Assume it has one or 0. 0.5. Half. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's always half. Alan says, hey, everyone. Hi, Alan. Um, oh, Becca says, I have kidney issues. Take 25 drops of daily minerals in your coffee, and my kidney doctor is okay with it. Interesting. So that's good. Okay. Um, exchange student says, I carry Redmond's in my purse. I do, it, too. Those little... Okay, so Redmond has the little pocket ones. Yeah, they're six ounces. You can refill those with the smoked salt. Yes. Um, yeah, Nassar Sydney says, carry your Redmond real salt. Yeah, for, for sodium... That's by far the best way to do it. Yeah, it's so good. And that's why we recommend the electrolyte drops rather than like the fasting drops because sodium, potassium, and magnesium. Mm -hmm. Marie is here. Uh, hey, jo Marie. Jodell says, why is it when I drink electrolytes I want more to drink? Does my body need more salt? New to keto. Probably. 
So you probably needs more, need more salt. Um, the company who manufactures the electrolytes for us, like we're not sitting there with a squirt bottle filling them up or anything like that. They no. actually have the whole hair nets and stuff like that. Um, they actually paid for a study to be done where they compared how much water athletes would drink with the electrolyte drops versus without. Mm -hmm. And if you had the electrolyte drops, they were drinking more water and getting more hydrated because water alone doesn't hydrate you. You, you need so the electrolytes as well. they were more water. Yeah, they ended up drinking more water because the other people couldn't handle that much water or something to that oh, effect. Oh, okay. Or just they naturally were ingesting more water because it had and the staying better hydrated I because see. it had the electrolytes. I see, I see. Cool, cool. So there you go. Yeah, if, and yeah, if new to keto especially, you can use the electrolyte drops if you want to. You can also just use pickle juice if you really yes. want to. Chicken broth. Yeah, the chicken broth. Now, people were talking about that earlier that watch out. Chicken broth sometimes has starch in it. I know. You have to. And even like the little square. What are they called? <laughs> the little squares you unwrap. Okay. Bullion cubes have sugar in it. Joe, I have a uh, bone to pick with you. Hey. None of that. <laughs> T says, I wish I could use the Keto Chow Electrolyte tablets. Can't use them in Florida. Just don't open the thing. Did you know mm -hmm. that we have tablets that are in these little plastic squares? Yeah. And they're just two tablets. Uh-oh, we're getting uh, oh, we're getting buffering. Hold Whoops. on a second. I Looks didn't like we know. might be back. I didn't think we had okay. those up for sale. Well, we kind of do. You kind of do. Okay, so we're How back. Is that? Joe, so we have electrolyte tablets that are individually wrapped. Okay. Two tablets in a little sachet. Kind of for sale. Well, the problem is we don't have a lot of them, and we have been sending them out in orders. Yes. Um, because we're waiting for the bags to arrive. Oh. So we they, don't we have will them have, for sale. Well, we have them, we just <laughs> don't have them up on the site. That's but correct. They're coming. And here's the thing. We keep ours in our bathroom where it's super humid. And we Just don't have get, any well, problems. Well, they keep the lid on it and it's okay. Like, you, you, you anyway. <laughs> Rihanna, says, or Rihanna says, I love the Redmond pocket salt. Yes. Yep. Rihanna says, I put the Redmond garlic in the pocket salt shaker. Nice. That sounds amazing. Uh, just, oh, and Shauna had the takeoff, by the way. Uh, so long okay. says have a great day at work. Jessica's in my resin spill, so I leave it in a Ziploc. I oh, have man. had a spill in my bag, too. Marie says, I'm using Keto Chai Daily Minerals and Electrolytes to replace other tablet supplements, nice. which often have sketchy ingredients. Yeah. It, it really makes me feel like I know what I'm eating. I don't have to have stuff that I don't understand. Victoria says, would still love you to create a magnesium caplet so I don't have to drink it. I know. It. That's a good that idea. That is a huh? really good idea. I will look into that. Yeah, let's look into it. Um, Stalling says, all this talk is making me thirsty. Oh, Actually, me I too. I need a drink too. Uh, Nurse Cindy says, too much sodium gets you thirsty uh, and retain fluid. Too much magnesium, you get diarrhea. Mm -hmm. Only tricky one is the potassium, which um, y which can, if taken in large amounts, impact mm -hmm. heart contraction. That is true. Yes, so be careful. Betsy says, I always think my mm -hmm. questions are going to be too dumb. <laughs> no. I guess this time they weren't. Your questions are never like, dumb. There are stupid questions. Like, no, don't even say it. Isn't it time you audited my return? <laughs> or don't you think it's morally wrong to give me a, a warning when I was, in fact, speeding? Those are dumb questions. No questions but... are dumb. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Janelle says, I get the electrolyte drops. Too Crazy Hugh says, why don't I have any of those? I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> Exchange Student says, I put salt in my zip fizz container. I do have a little Sorry, bottle now. Um, oh, they're going to be here next week. Um, no, because but then I, she doesn't have to take I, it home. I brought a Redmond sample pack. They included it. Oh, nice. The little bottle. Cindy nice. says, I didn't know about the tablets and wrappers. I kind of want to try it. It's because they're some. not launched yet. I know. Well, we've been sending them out for the last... But they can't buy them unless they're weeks. in the jar. That's what I'm well, saying. Well, the thing is, we have we have a lot of the jars. We the, have a lot the, of the jars. The the bottles of them. The bottles, not jars. We only have, like, it's like twenty five thousand of the individual packets. Yeah, they're gonna be gone in two seconds. Yeah, we, what we would prefer is that people who don't know about the tablets buy get one of those little packets of the tablets and go, and say, oh, oh, hey, that's cool. That? I didn't know about that. And then they buy the big. 
the so big if you've got a uh, order recently, you might <laughs> have got one says, already. Since you kind of have them. Right? <laughs> Virginia says, I'm late, but I'm glad I made it. Two Crazy Kids says, late. remember we're in Florida. If I open a container of Redmond Relight, it clumps up within a month. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's funny. Joe says, yep, I got the tablets in my order. Joe Ray is here. This has made it. Just Joy. finished filming my oh, meal hey. prep video. That's so awesome. Dania says, I just started Keto Chow. It's amazing. Thank you. You're yes. welcome. We how, made it just for you. So how do you say your name? Tania? Is that I'm it? assuming it's Tania. Okay. Let us green. know. Tania Green. Yes. Which sounds like your cousin-in-law. Cousin-in-law. That's married to Jared. How do you say your Tevra? name? Tevra? Yes, green? Tevra. Tevra Green? Yeah. That's for not, some for some reason, to me and Deborah, they both start with eh. a T and end with a green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is I, I take a small bottle of Kilochel electrolytes on every bike ride, yes. and squirt it in her eye. No, don't do that. No, Please no, don't no, do that. No, no, no. Jessica says so I take 500 milligrams of potassium, 400 milligrams of magnesium, and a multivitamin every day. Does the daily minerals replace all of that? Oh, uh, that's a good question. So let's go back. Let's look at the actual amounts of daily minerals. You made my necklace messed up. Doobie doo wa. Okay, so here you have, uh, it's one tablespoon. So that has, the main thing that it has is a lot of potassium. So a so thousand, thousand milligrams. milligrams. That would replace your potassium right Ooh, there. there. Oh, we go. that's easier to see. Um, it has 400 milligrams of magnesium as well. And how much was the magnesium she needed? 400. Was it? Yeah. There you go. Daily so, uh, yeah. Now, it wouldn't replace tastes the like, multivitamin it tells, tastes like because mineral. it doesn't have any vitamins. It just has minerals. Yeah, that's true. Um, but, and what we've noticed, Chris likes to put his whole tablespoon yep. in a water bottle with a bunch of lemon and then, and then drink then it throughout the day. slowly drink right? it. Right? Yep. I like to do three teaspoons at different times in the day. So, then it's not as much. Tania said we got it right. Oh, thank you. I'm glad. I'm so glad you checked in. Say hello. Read that. In the course of I'm taking right this now, is too crazy one kiddos. of the things recommended to enhance your health and enhance your genes is avoid stupid things. For example, don't jump out of a plane. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tania got snickerdoodle. <gasps> yes. Yeah. People jumping out of a perfectly good airplane. Yeah. Okay. So um, in the show notes for this. For today. Um, yes. We have a, so one of the, um, one of the questions was, hey, I love how it's made. What's the process from start to finish after I place my order? Also, I saw in my paper that there was a stamp that says, Star-Lord, yes. is Chris Pratt Heck packing yes, my order? yes, he is. So first and foremost. Okay. Okay, well, let me paste. Plump, plump. So I just pasted a link into the, uh, and it's actually in the in the notes for the show as well. Oh, this is that's a your hand. this is a behind the scenes, which we really need to. I was kind of mad that they didn't film me. I had oh. really cute nails that day. So this is kind of how keto chow is made. Mm -hmm. Anyway, hey, well, eggnog. Hey, look at that. <laughs> it's put in boxes, and then it comes to our web, our warehouse. That's our a year warehouse. Ago. That's our Holly. Yep. That's Paloma. There's Haley. This was at the outset of uh, Oh yeah, we COVID. had all everybody had masks on. Anyway, I'll let you guys watch that. If um, you want to. Yes. But so Star Lord. Yeah, okay, we're not I'm not sharing anymore. He's one of our employees. It's one he's one of our employees. We let them choose what their stamp is called. So um here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. Um, about what was it? Eight days ago. We sent out a newsletter, mm -hmm. <laughs> our potatoes, ketos, and what to substitute. Mm -hmm. And one of the thing was this highlight of, of Star our Lord. Keto Chow team. That was Brandon. And look, he even has a Star Lord shirt on. <laughs> he did have a Star <laughs> Lord day. shirt on. <laughs> favorite flavor, chocolate peanut butter. Favorite keto tip, butter tastes great on almost everything, if not wrap it in bacon. Yeah. So as far as like a... It, that, that video is this close to the how is made, how, have, how it's made. Yeah, that we have on video. Well, what we were supposed to do is record a like our story and put it along with oh, that. We, just we haven't it. gotten to doing that just yet. Darn it. We actually put that video together for the Lipedema conference. Oh yeah. That was um, in 
spring April? of 2020. Oh, wow. That was a long time ago. It was. <laughs> At least I think it was spring of 2020. It's, yes. It should say uh, when it was. Oh, November 30th, 2020. Right. So it was for the uh, October one? I don't yeah. Know. Or for the April one, 2021, probably. No, it was, we premiered it that, the day that it was. It anyway. <laughs> Ooh, anyway, Kim Jessica says, says and the, the tablets will be two for a serving or per day. So in order to keep the... Um, the serving size consistent with the bottles, a serving size is one tablet, but there's two tablets in each of the little sachets. Yeah, and I have to, I've done a lot of- I I've take two or three of, at a time. Um, so I take magnesium and then I take one of the tablets at night. Yeah. And it's funny because since I've been doing just the one tablet at night, I don't have to get up to go to the bathroom as often. Uh, serious so keto actually keyed us into that. Too. Yeah. The taking a salt supplement at because night. Because it, it holds everything in. Leah <laughs> says, I can't wait to try chocolate peanut butter. Oh, oh yeah. Love it. Because Betsy wanted to know she oh, had tried also, it yet. Also, uh, mm. Tania, I want you to try chocolate peanut butter and chocolate toffee. Mixed together. They're great friends. Tastes, it tastes like, like Butterfinger. Butter if you like Butterfinger. So long says, I'm excited to watch the behind the scenes. I'm a manufacturing geek. Yes. Sky says, I'm still looking for Bilbo. Nah. To Chrissy Kia says, are you supposed to fly drones in the warehouse? In There's warehouse. nothing wrong with... If you are inside of a building, you can yep. do whatever you want with the permission of With the permission the of the person. Yeah. Although in our warehouse, we have a closed-toed shoe policy. So if yes. you're flying a drone, you have to have closed-toed shoes on. <laughs> we also have a policy. Let's see. Except for uh, me, I'm above the rules. <laughs> Let's see. The Keto Chow benefits and policy. I was looking at this today. What? Um, safety and dress. It actually says... Um, Chris is such a nerd. Please take care in your appearance and do not wear clothing that is distracting or will cause a safety issue with your work. Yes. That's about how far we go. <laughs> Whereas Audrey uh, walked into Haley's bedroom last night, we were chatting, and she caught her drawing tablet strap on the doorknob and went, Whoa! <laughs> it was really funny. Oh. So don't cause safety hazards with your wardrobe, please. Two crazy kios is great. So I can open the packet, eat one, the other one will be powdered in the morning. No, just take both of them. <laughs> You're such a nerd. <laughs> Matt It'll says, it's his warehouse. You can play drones if you want to. And you can dance if you want to as you well. dance if you want to. Uh, Star J likes the Star Lord. You wonder why Chris Pratt's parents would be so mean to name him after a fried rodent. Chris <laughs> Pratt, right? Um, okay, here's a uh, really good question. Okay, you want me to read it? Sure. Okay. Yep. Brad asked, being uh, I've been eating, <laughs> been eating low carb for a few years now, but in a new position has me living in hotels about 180 days a year, and I could not maintain eating low carb. Hoping I can live off these while I travel for seven to ten days at a time. Any hints for hotel living? I bounce between six cities in Texas. Never know how many nights at each. So oh, that's hard. If you have access to refrigeration, it's a lot easier. It is a lot easier. The easiest way to do it at that point would be to, on your way to the hotel, stop at a store mm -hmm. and buy some heavy cream. Heavy cream or avocado Or avocado oil. oil. You can mix it up with butter, but it it's a little bit more difficult to mix properly unless you have a blending something. Yeah. An immersion blender could do it, or even one of those little whisk uh, things. But you know what? Whisk uh, most hotel rooms have a coffee maker, right? Yeah. Um, which and will let, can they, or a microwave. just have hot water? Could they just do hot water? And but then they, they also have pour a microwave. it over the hot butter? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But then it's, the problem is, okay, if you put hot water and melted butter into a blender bottle, close the lid, mm -hmm. and then start to shake it. You only get a few shakes, and then you have to pop the lid. I don't pop the lid. I just twist it a little. Yeah, well, then I always get it on the, the threads. Oh, I it's gross. just don't. But you have to let the pressure out, let the pressure out, and you have to mm -hmm. do it pretty constantly. Um, it's a little bit easier just to use heavy cream or avocado oil. Now, yeah. if you don't have access to refrigeration, which I've done in a hostel, in San Francisco before. That was an interesting week. I don't know why you I should tell just, everyone that. I had a <laughs> bottle of avocado oil mm -hmm. and I had keto chow and I was 
Well, there, there was a couple ways I was doing it. I was either mixing it up in my room and then just waiting for a little bit and then drinking it. Mm -hmm. Or I would just go to like Burger King or something like that yeah. and get ice water, sit down at a table, mix it up, and then go my merry way. Oh, okay. Because they didn't care if you got ice water from the, from the soda machine. Oh, cool. So I was just mixing it up and then just sitting there, letting the ice uh, melt for a little bit. I've also done it camping. Yeah, you, you I was actually going to say that. We did a 30-mile yeah. hike, and we took it with us with avocado oil. And what we mm -hmm. took with us was a little bottle brush yep. and a little thing of, like, uh, dish soap. Dish soap. And then when we were done, we would rinse it out with water and then let wash it, it and then let it air out so yep. that it could dry. And that yeah, worked and it's, well. By the way, the same it's important to take the lid again. off. Yes. And this is in Utah. I don't know. Uh, other places you might actually have to dry it out with the... With the um, I got stuff towel. on the sides. You're licking your <laughs> sucker or something. <laughs> so in Utah, you can't just open the top; it won't dry. You have yeah, to yeah. open the lid and put it on the side so yep. it'll actually dry. So yeah, there's and and if any of you have uh, suggestions, please yeah, throw it into know. the comments. Um, last one was Jeff had a question about oxalates mm -hmm. in keto chow. Um, do we happen to know the measurements of oxalates in the products? So here's the thing about oxalates: oxalates are from print. Plants. Are from plants. Mm -hmm. the, um, I looked it up and I'm like, okay, and then I, from various different sources, um, meat, chicken, fish don't have oxalates. Mm -hmm. Milk, hard cheese, yogurt, ice cream all are very low. Chocolate milk has seven milligrams for one cup. Yeah. Because of chocolate is from the ground. Yes. <laughs> so, and now keto chow is mostly based on animal protein mm -hmm. and animals derived stuff. So I don't have an exact a measurement of um, how much oxalates there are. Yeah. But so long as you stick to the stuff that doesn't have chocolate in it. Yeah, you probably. You're probably going to be really good. Um, yeah. So there you go. <laughs> Too Crazy Kia says, I guess Rachel can't work there. Everything she wears is distracting. <laughs> True. Tania says, I'll <laughs> definitely try to the two together. Nice. nice. The crazy kids, if you don't have refrigeration, that's where you can use butter powder. That's true. Yeah, you could do you that. You absolutely could. Mm -hmm. and that's one of those. Or heavy cream powder. Yeah, or heavy cream powder. The problem, and just the caution thing, with heavy cream powder and butter powder is mm -hmm. when, when you buy it, it, normally the serving size is so small that it rounds down to zero carbs. Yeah, so it looks like it's nothing, but it's not nothing. But butter powder, for instance, has, I think it's 15 times more carbohydrates mm, than regular, than regular butter. butter. And that's because it had to be dried. Yeah. And so it had to be dried onto something. Yep. So that's something we learned as we've been learning about manufacturing yep. all these years. Michael says, I'm spending a week at a hotel. Well, there you go. Oh, nice. Well, and depending on the hotel, you may even find a hotel that has heavy cream yeah. At the, like, coffee station. And if you have three blender bottles, you could totally go make three keto chows and then stick them in, in the fridge. fridge. Yeah. Well, of course, a lot of times they'll, you'll say, is this heavy cream? And it may be a creamer. So that's something yeah. you have to be careful with, too. Now, even regular cream will have fewer carbs than powdered cream. That's true. But again, if powdered cream works for your situation, but that's But this great. guy that we were talking about was going off keto. So... If he was going to do butter powder or have or powdered well, he cream, he says he doesn't want to go off. No, keto. no, no. I said he's going off keto because he keeps being in a hotel. So oh, okay. In order to get yes, back this on, would be that it's far. still going to be better yeah. than what he's eating now. Yep. Asner Cindy says I travel with peel packages of tuna and spam. Hard boiled eggs yes. are sold in convenience stores. Yes. I've done many a grilled chicken or hamburger without a bun from room service. Yep, <laughs> I totally would do that. Um, let's see. Betsy says, I was looking for your discount code for gold chronometer. It took, oh, so let me show you where that is at. Yes. So if you we love search for keto chow favorite things, these are a few of our favorite things. We're I don't like that pitch. song. It's a really dumb song. No, now. it's not. It's not a dumb song. Uh, programs coaching. 
It's a good song. Are nope. you sure? Maybe it's a Exercise Kitaraji Gadgetry. There it there is. There it is. Chronology. It should, if you click on that. Yep. Oh, it won't work because oh, it won't we work have... Oh, because we have that blocked. But that's we, the right yeah, link. That's the right link. Do you so want to just me, put that link in there? Yeah, I'll just grab this link. Okay. Thank you. Ba -ba -bum. And it's, it's not a code. It's a link mm -hmm. that uh, does the discount. So... Uh, Cynthia says, why is it not okay to use butter powder regardless of the refrigerator? So we went into that a little bit. Um, yeah, also, okay let to me use show it. you. Let's see. It just has more Keto carbs in chow it because it's been powdered. Dried. Here it is. Powdered fats with keto chow and rounding on nutrition labels. Mm -hmm. So it goes into all of it on here. But for instance, butter like powder. reading words, here are some words. So there's 16.53 carbohydrates per 1,500 calories yeah. of butter compared to 0.126. So it's, yeah. is that 10 times more? Considerably different. I don't know what it is. No, that's 100 times more. I, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I think that's 100 times more. Anyway, um, it, anyway, it, it goes into more exhaustive detail. I'll go ahead and put this into the, the link as the well. chat. Yeah, so grab that. that. Um, yeah. Well, let's see. Hoofness says, I gave Brian a heart attack when I popped the top instead of twisting the lid. Trust me, Brian, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Esther says, he says a, a battery-powered coffee whisker for adding cream yes. is good. For yes, it is. Like a frother. Yeah, a little frother. Michael says, I'm spending a week in a hotel. Lucky I, luckily, I have a refrigerator. I've heard people mention powdered butter for fat, but it seems only available online. I Correct. think it is. It's only available online. Oh, and Esther Cindy says, oxalates are uh, in plants as a defense mechanism. Yes, that totally that's makes sense. exactly what it is. I actually had a kidney stone, and when I got it back, when after the doctor did the whole mm -hmm. uh, said lots look of see, he said, guess what, this is oxalates. You should stop eating spinach and chocolate. And I'm like, oh, spinach <laughs> and chocolate. <laughs> Blaze says, uh, the chocolate, peanut butter, and mint will have oxalates. Yes, it, they will. Mm -hmm. Mocha as well. Yep. Uh, Bessie says, thanks, Joe. Two Crazy Kilos says, just remember, all powdered fats have carbs. Mm -hmm. And all heavy cream has carbs. Yep. So long says, I just bought a USB-charged coffee frother to make keto chow in the office in a jam. Yes. He's, I love that. Yep. Uh, Ashner Cindy says, I have an 8 a.m. flight, so I got to run. Well, we'll see you later. 6 a.m. We'll get, oh, I 6 a.m. We'll get the PowerPoint to you. Thank you. <gasps> I'll see you next Jerry week. Jerry says, I use my coffee frother with butter most of the time. It works just fine. Nice. Um, let's see. Matt says, keto chow made with butter powder still needs to be kept cold. Yep. That is true. Or it will spoil due to the milk protein. That yep. is absolutely true. True, true. Even keto chow mixed up with just water needs to be treated it like has milk. has milk protein in it. And um, one other problem that we've run into is, you know those um, insulated flasks? Yes. If you mix up keto chow, put it in an insulated flask, and then stick that into the fridge. It's going to remain the temperature it was when you put it in. So if you want it to be cold, you've got to put ice in it, or it's got to be or cold. Or just put it in a blender bottle. Or you can open it. the lid in the Even fridge. Even opening the lid isn't as effective. Just yeah, I, I, leave it in a blender put bottle. put it in a blender bottle, and, and then it. just pour it into the flask when we go to leave. So it'll be cold. Jerry says, did I miss something? Don't eat spinach. Oh, no, no. We were just talking about oxalates. and If you have kidney stones, and that's one of the things. oxalates are from plants. Too Crazy Kia says, think about it. Plants can't bite like animals. Yeah, they don't have fangs. They don't have horns. They can't run away. Mm -hmm. So they don't want to be eaten, so they poison you instead. Yep. That's, that is their that's defense mechanism. Chemical warfare. So, is there anything else that you wanted to talk about tonight? I do want to say that I successfully got Ruth and Max to help me install the car stereo, the backup camera, and the dash cam yes, in, in the, the new car. Corolla. That's so awesome. And all of it worked the first time I tried it. It's a Christmas miracle it's indeed. So great. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, and it was funny. So last night I showed him a video of a guy installing a backup camera and a stereo mm -hmm. in a 2007 Toyota Corolla. So they knew exactly what, to what do. was going to be happening. So there were actually nice. times where I said, hey, I need you to just 
fish the wires yeah. through. And they did it? Well, I had to show them a couple of other things, but they mostly did it. That's so awesome, though. They're I need invested you to zip tie this going to be their car. Yes. And so they have helped. They helped replace the two headlights yes. yesterday. We had to take off they the helped, hood cover. Um, or the do the cover. radio and the dash cam. And what was the last Backup thing? camera. Backup camera. Yep. And then and we took it and um, cleaned off the engine and the battery. Right. You should have them replace the brakes next. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. That would be so great. It would be great. Mm -hmm. Two Crazy Kios says, most people don't realize that there are carbs in coffee mm -hmm. because a serving is only six ounces and there's less than one carb yep, in six it's ounces. That, that is five true. That kills you. Uh, Sky says, Plants vs. Zombies taught me that. <laughs> Rihanna says, only one more Tuesday evening live until Kios yes. Salt Lake. Extreme Sin says, so the sad. first time. Look, it, yes. when, when it works the first time you try it, it's, it's just like, oh my gosh. It's like gold. Well, considering how how terrible of a job I used to do with car stereo stuff when I was Max's age, the uh, fact that I was using crimp on connectors uh -huh. and I was running things the way that it's supposed to be run and zip tying things together and I was doing it the right way. Yes. Well, when you were <laughs> Max's age, did you know the right way? There wasn't even YouTube then. There wasn't YouTube then. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't know how to change the headlight on a 2007 Corolla, you just were like, I don't know, I guess there's an extra screw somewhere. Then you had to go to a mechanic and have them help you. Yeah, whereas I was just able to, oh, we need to take off to the Google bumper it. cover? Yep. Why do you have to take off the bumper cover to change a headlight? Yes. Uh, Suzanne says, I noticed the carbs on coffee and have wondered why no one mentioned the carbs. Yep. Well, it's because... Yeah, whatever. To Crazy Kyo says, we real. will be watching next week's live stream from a plane <gasps> headed to Salt Lake. Yay. This guy says, thanks for the chat. Got to run. Catch y'all next week. So long says, I guess I need to look at cutting back on coffee. Maria Emmerich will recommend you cut back on coffee anyway. I, I will cut back with you. To Crazy Kyo says, I didn't even use crimp on connectors when I was Max's age. I just used black tape. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Then we become a goopy mess in the heat. Yes. Yep. Even in Utah, I would become that. Yeah, because it's still so gets hot here. Yeah, crimp on connectors. I even got a nicer crimper. Ooh. That anyway, it's it's one that crimps in the front instead of one where you have to flip it around and it crimps oh, in the back. Right. That, those annoy me. Yeah. It's like a it's like a juicer. J Doc says, Good evening, all. Have a blessed evening. <laughs> Two crazy kids says, eight days of the bears. You guys will be sick of us. We have to think I'm of already something cool of to do on Monday because the kids are out of school. Yes, they are. On the Monday after Easter. Oh, guess what opens? The first day of Keto Salt Lake. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Crimes of Grindelwald 3. <laughs> or the Fantastic Beasts. Whatever. I can't see it. <laughs> On that happy note, you all have a fantastic night. <laughs> Say bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. <laughs>